position. What, um, what did he develop? Anyone? from Buffalo Public Library in 1983. Claire Bear. Interlibrary loan. Good job, Claire Bear. Jesse. Space librarian. No, Jesse, no space librarians <laughs> yet. Yes, Andy. Um, a book uh, mobile. We're close. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, he did indeed invent the bookmobile. He also invented Jesse. Well lit library. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Well lit libraries. In a friendly atmosphere. Excellent. Great, Jesse. Now, in, in 1894, who died and made him boss? <laughs> <laughs> I believe what happened was Judge Forbes, this wealthy philanthropist in Northampton, Massachusetts. Yes, Northampton, Massachusetts died and left the town a bunch of money so that they could build their own library. And a few years later, Cutter contacted the people in charge and they hired him that year. Good 
job, Claire. Give her like five points for that. Whoa. That was an amazing answer. Suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Cadets, the library found taped under the desk a piece of microfilm. Our laboratory has just decoded the microfilm and found the 900 page dissertation written by Mixa on the life of Charles Andy Cutter. All right. So, while at Forbes Library, what system did Charles Andy Cutter put in place? Ooh. There's a cat and a tree, so I'm thinking he put together a um, system for Pokemon, possibly a Pokedex, because that's Mewtwo and Pseudo Ludo. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, Andrew, Andrew, but almost. I think it was his expansive cataloging system. Oh, that's good job, Jesse. <laughs> that's a cat, and that's a log. Not a tree. It's a tree. It was once it a, tree. a tree. You're both right. Good job. Kids. It's a rebus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here's one more that all of you can answer. So what else did Cutter do while he was at Forbes? He um, created a Pokemon game that was called Pokemon Go. Oh, Good job, Jesse Andy. We have um, an eighth note E, half note F, a uh, quarter rest, um, <laughs> an eighth note E, and a quarter note D. So I'm guessing he made a separate music library. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, do you have anything? I would like to elaborate. It was the art and music department that contains currently a priceless collection of local photographs. Excellent. Can you think of anything else maybe he did there? Mobile. <laughs> it's uh, yes, actually, I know. There was a traveling library system, and he also established different branch libraries. Now, for our final question tonight, we're three points. What happened in 1903? <laughs> Oh. In Walpole, New Hampshire, because of pneumonia that he had in the spring when he was 68, and then it came back. <laughs> She's older than nine. <laughs> so, too. We're going to have to see a copy of that first certificate after the show. Well, cadets, today you have earned the right to call yourselves detectives. But there can be only one winner, and today our winner is... Andy! What? <laughs> Andy! Woo! Apparently, that you really liked your Lego sculpture. <laughs> now, there's only one thing left to say. Do, Do it, it Rockabella! Anyone? <laughs> Where in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> Where in the world is Charles Amy Cutter?